Okay, Carlos Hernandez. He is a journeyman for sure. From Puerto Rico. Listen to that music. Just you want to dance? Yeah, me, I'm half Puerto Rico. Puerto, Puerto Rican. Oh, you're I'm half Puerto Rico, yeah. Uh, my, mother, my mother's Puerto Rican. Ah. My mama is Alice Marie Ortiz. Okay. And my grandmother is Aguila. Uh -huh. So, Rosco and Dule, Pastele, Mosia, <laughs> to the south side, to the merengue. Oh. I wept, my papi, how you doing? <laughs> I give it to you. <laughs> So I know about it. I know a little bit about that stuff. Oh, and then it's, wait, it's Serhei Bohachuk is walking out to this. I love this. So Serhei Bohachuk, El Flaco, I have seen him fight many times. And then, seriously, I hosted the um, fight nights, Hollywood fight nights. He was the main event. I went to the ladies' room real fast, and they're like, you're needed on stage. I'm like, what happened? Knockout. I'm like, what? It was that <laughs> fast. And I asked him what happened. He's like, it was easy, easy, easy fight. Wow. Yeah. He trains oh. up at Abel Sanchez's, uh, Abel, yeah, Abel's gym over at the summit. It's easy for him. Yeah, he trains alongside Gennady Golovkin. He likes yes. to always run faster, be better than Gennady. Well, not bad, not a bad idea. Yeah. You know, you always want competition in the gym mm -hmm. to make you the best you could possibly be. Absolutely. And uh, as I see in his corner, you got the former trainer of Klitschko. Yep. Uh, the corner. Um, so you got some. You got some names in the corner. Um, oh, there's Stitch. As Stitch Duran. Yeah, Stitch Duran. Had Former great, cut man with UFC. Had a great conversation with him the other day about the wrapping of the hands. Yeah, it's very important. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> very, very <laughs> All important. All the drama for your mama with that. <laughs> very, very important. Jonathan Banks is in the corner with him. This is the middleweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red and white, tripped in blue, he weighed officially 160 and three quarter pounds. This veteran enters the ring tonight for the 36th time as a professional. Hailing from Trujillo, Puerto Rico, here is Carlos Garcia Hernandez. <laughs> and across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white trunks, tripped in blue, he weighed 158 and one half pounds. In 11 professional rounds, he has perfect 11 victories, all 11 wins coming by the way of knockout. Here's the undefeated middleweight fighting out of Big Bear, California, El Flaco, Sergei Bohachu. Intro referee in charge of the action is Thomas Taylor. You know, great. Serhei has been learning English. I make him learn. I make him speak English to me. That's good when you're from a foreign country, you speak English. Yeah. Because your interviews are going to be English unless I'm, you have an interpreter. Exactly. All right, so same the height. The reach. the reach is much different. Tremendous. 76 inches that Tremendous. Hernandez has on Bohachuk. But you know what? Don't, don't be surprised if Bohachuk knocks him out in seriously less than two minutes. Well, don't go to the bathroom, guys. I know, right? <laughs> Nobody go to the bathroom. Hold it. Yeah, hold it right now. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you're home. You can pee in a cup, Ooh. something like that. This guy knocks people out very quickly. Yeah, I and mean, you know, I I asked Sergey yesterday. I go, do you know who you're fighting? He's like a very tall man. He's good. He has rounds under him. 15, 15 wins, 19 losses. But still. Yeah, he's got more losses than wins. Yeah. But he has he's four fifty fifty. You know, so. He's He's got rounds under him. But Siri, Siri is not taking him for granted. Obviously, he's being cautious, coming off a jab. Mm -hmm. um, I can see he has a big right hand. Yeah. Uh, he, he tries to throw it, try to get you out of there. Oh, oh, he got hit. He got Oh, followed up with a right hand. Serhe can take a punch. He's got a chin, but we're gonna find out right now if sure. if, uh, if it still if it still sits like that. Well, that's the amateur pedigree of this. Oh, they go body shot. That definitely definitely hurt. I mean, mm -hmm. Carlos can you can lie to a lot of people, but that body shot changed his expression and his attitude. Yeah, yeah he's fighting. He's from Vinitsa, Ukraine. All those Eastern European boxers. Well, right now, the, the Brits, like I said, the red coats are coming. The red coats have came. 
Yeah. Uh, right now in boxing, the Europeans own predominantly most of the sport. Um, like I said, once they figured out to get American trainers, we was in trouble. I knew that was going to happen one day. I said, as long as they didn't have American trainers, they was okay. We were okay. <laughs> but once they figured out, it's almost like what 50 Cent did with, with uh, Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. Right? You took an East Coast rapper, put him with a West Coast producer. Oh, we're in trouble. Right? Yeah. You take an American trainer, put him with a European fighter, we're in trouble again. So that's the key. Um, that's how the, they know what we know now. Europeans fought very upright, very straight, uh, chin right in the air, so we can hit it. And now they learn to tuck the chin and throw a jab. We gave our secrets away. Yeah, we gave it away. He has Banks in the corner with him. Yeah, because Abel's over in uh, Madison Square Garden because yeah. they're, uh, he has a fighter as his pro debut, Guido. Oh, what a good name. Yeah, Guido. Vlago has been uh, cutting the ring, and he's been stalking him in the ring. Yeah, sorry. I is right now advancing on Carlos. And uh, Carlos needs something to keep Zeri off him. Oof. That was a body shot. I think this is the longest I've seen Zeri fight. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Yeah, it is. All right, so. That was a good opening round. You think that was a real feeling out round here? I mean, yes, I they feel felt, They felt those punches, all right. <laughs> I still gave it to Surrey 10-9 because yes. I thought he was more effective. Um, he was more on the attack, ring generalship. Um, Carlos Hernandez, we're going to see exactly how much experience he really has. Is it in, uh, being an opponent or trying to turn his career around? I've seen it happen in the past. It can't happen here today. Middleweights, middleweights have been on fire. I mean, who knows? You have, well, not Canelo's moving up just for the fight, 168, but yeah. middleweights, you have Gennady. I mean, it would be fun to see them all just. You got the Charlo brothers. You got yeah, the Charlo brothers. Charlos are fighting in uh, December. Well, yeah. duh, we are in December. My God, this <laughs> year has flown by so fast. That's what happens. I think they, yeah, 22nd they fight. It's good stuff. Yeah. Right now, like I said, Siri right now is uh, he's trying to he's figured out what he needs to do. You can see he's fainting now. He's mm -hmm. doing it, coming behind the jab, and that's the key. Yeah, Sergey is a big one. He's 11-0 by way of 11 knockouts. He is he has a devastating punch. Some yeah. people, I'm with that loud thud. Here's how he sets it up. It seems like he sets it up behind the jab, mm -hmm. and. Um, that's what I see. Carlos Hernandez is a taller man. Yeah. He should be keeping Surrey on the outside. Instead, if Surrey gets on the inside, Carlos will have a problem. Surrey just get rocked a little bit by that hook. Yeah, Carlos is uh, done land uh, overhand right. Oh. There you go, that punch. Yeah. Landing. What I like is when Sergei lands on the face, he goes straight to the body. He go, it's good. He's got everything intact right now, like I said. You know, he's trying to wear down Carlos right now. He's landing little shots. There you go, get little tiny shots that are taking their toll in later rounds. It's called money in the bank. Right now, he's putting money in the bank. So round three or four, three or four, that's going to show up. So right now, like I said, very smart, very technical. Um, he's walking down Carlos right now. So this fight could be over in the next round Look if it. Carlos don't initiate attack. He's not even, he's just standing like this with his arms tucked in and not really doing anything. I know he's felt Sir Hate's power and he's probably scared of it. Well, right now, Carlos is getting hit with some nice body shots. And they're starting to take the effect on him. Uh, Carlos right now, like I said, he's right there. He's, he's not even throwing punches because he don't want to get hit with no shots. Oh, and he just got hit with that left. It looks like he's going to need that shoulder roll, that Floyd Mayweather thing, but he's not doing anything with it. 
Yeah, all right. Right now, he can't do nothing. He's getting yeah, hit with he's getting hooks with and some good body shots. There's something. He's trying to throw his jab. But in retreat. It's not doing anything. He's jabbing in retreat. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like stay away from me it's rather like than. Save my soul yeah. type of jab. Oh, he's going to hit with some tremendous body shots. Oh, there. Nice. That was a nice hook. Short hook. Yeah, he almost just scored his. He almost destroyed that 10 8 that was so dominant. All right, well. Okay. I got a score. 2018. Yeah, yes, I do too. You know, some judge, a judge can even go a 10 8 round because he was that dominant. You know, you guys should do that. Even though it was on knockdown, you yeah. could have to score it like it was almost a knockdown because he got with tremendous punches, and it seemed like to me that Carlos was in serious trouble. Yeah, let's. Now the question mark, will they send him out for the next round? You know, it's so funny. You just mentioned Jermel and they actually, Carlos fought Jermel and Jermel. Wow. Yeah, back in 2009. Uh, Jermel Charlo, 2009, lost obviously. And uh, Jermel Charlo, 2000, four, wow. in April, 2000. That's so funny that we just wow. said that. So it talks people up, let's just say, right? It does, right? yeah. And now look at what the brothers are. Are well, we going to see if Sir Hale, Sir Hale, you know, knows exactly where he's at right now um, or where Carlos is? Because Carlos to me is like he's giving up a little bit. The will power is being taken away. Yeah. So what you're watching right now is that Sir Hale, see if he closes in and takes his man out. Oh, shots. tremendous left hook. Yeah. I asked him, I go, you know, my main thing whenever I talk to fighters, how do you learn English? And some of these answers, real housewives, <laughs> <laughs> friends. They don't learn good they stuff. They watch cartoons. They're not learning good stuff. Then. I mean, of all shows, Real Housewives. <laughs> I mean, Real you just Housewives. learn the, ban the banter. <laughs> That's not correct English. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> I mean, he told me he saw an yeah. episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> and I That's was like, funny. oh my goodness. That is funny. <laughs> Sir Hay is landing real flush shots in the face. Of course, look at the shots. Yeah. Then. That's behind the head. Knocks your equilibrium off behind the ear. So, Sir Hay's not even trying to. He's not even trying to make, avoid shots right now. He's, He's landing just, everything. Yeah. This is like a, right now, like a food market. He's picking the grapes up. We have to, we have to leave. Yeah, jab straight right. Jab straight right. Just exactly what he learns in, in the gym. There he goes on the attack. I went to his corner, Carlos's corner. How much abuse they're gonna allow him to take? Yeah. Because right now he's just getting abused. Because this is what three rounds? Like I said, I have not seen Sergei fight this long. But right now Carlos is getting abused. So the question mark is, you know, why let him? He could live to fight another day, but he takes abuse like this, you know, it could end your career. He has no legs right now. Carlos has no legs. They're wobbly. Oh, what a shot. Yeah. He, I think he would have gone down if the ropes weren't there right now. Yeah, right now, you, the corner should ask questions. Uh, Carlos will take a knee a second ago, and 24 seconds to go, I, I think that I would step into the towel. In. Yeah. But this is, I mean, he's not even defending his. his yeah, I'm surprised the referee's not closer to the action oh, watching oh, oh, him man, take this abuse. Some that, those are some blows that Carlos is taking right now. Oh. Those shots from Sergey are, jeez. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta start taking a closer look at him in that corner. All right, well, I'm, like I said, this is the longest I've ever seen Sergey fight. We're going into the fourth round, and this is a sixth rounder, am I correct? Yes. yes. Ooh, fight night has been going quite quickly. Some fun little fights here. As expected. Yeah, well, they're looking at him right now yeah. uh, thoroughly. 
uh, they're gonna send them back out. You know, what I, do I don't, they ask you when you're in uh, there? Do they uh, say? Do can you want to continue? Um, can, you know, the, the doctor's talking to you. How many do you see of me? <laughs> yeah. <Right>? That, <laughs> How many do you see? And if you're looking at the wrong right? him, <laughs> the one, I see the guy in the middle. <laughs> uh, right. So they're just trying to find out if he's right. That, they might stop this fight. Yeah. I mean, why send them out? I mean, they're negotiating right now. The doctor and the and the referee. Oh, they're gonna let him continue. Wow. So um, last round, I think after the last round, I think Sergey will make the final decision in this round if uh, Carlos was to quit. What's going on over here? The four. We're trying to say the four minute, the minute, the minute rest that yeah. they get. So, uh, what's going on? Well, all this okay. is helping <laughs> Carlos out. Yeah, it the is. The longer he is in the corner, you know, not getting hit, the better it is for him. Okay. All right, there is the bell. <laughs> Already grabbing. Well, let's see what Sir Hurt does. I'll attack. He's going to the body. He's going to the head. He's landing tremendous shots. And um, this is all dictates the closing of the show here, right here. You know, of course, you got to be careful. And he calls us doing straight right hands. But uh, Sir Hurt is not getting hit with anything. So he, Sir Hurt is following his game plan. He's following to his game plan. the bone. Sergei just keeps going forward on him like a little bull. Well, he's got to get the. Right now, Sergei has to get his distance. He has to stay in range off a jab and then go to the body. Um, I don't believe Carlos. Carlos has a, a chance with a lucky punch. That's the most I think he has. Um, right now, Sergei is on an attack. He's stepping in forward, and he's applying lots of pressure. And it seems to me like the willpower of Carlos Hernandez is broken. Oh, Carlos landed a, a right hand on Sergei. Wasn't very, it didn't do much to him. He just, he took it. Well, I'm surprised his corner didn't start closing the doors here for him. Yeah. And, you know, the corner says to you, hey, look, you take any more abuse like that, I'm stopping this fight. Mm -hmm. Right? Because, you know, you got family, you got kids, you got a wife maybe. So, you know, some of those things. And it's better to return home healthy yeah. than damaged. Well, I mean, if I were looking at it, if I look at his record, I can understand why they just want him to keep continuing. He's already been doing this. It's just more rounds for him. I'm just, like that, he's taking some abuse. Yeah, them body shots Ooh, right now. Um, right there. There might be some blood in the urine after this fight. That is not, that is not a good thing to know. <laughs> I, I know. Mean, come on. That's what happens. I know, it's boxing. I'm I telling you, it. that's what happens. I get it. Those body shots. You know what you signed up for. <laughs> blood in the urine after this. They'll take him to the hospital. Those body shots are tremendous. And uh, the head shots uh, uh, affected him also. I mean, how long do you want this to go? I mean, should we really look at him? Does he have an opportunity to win this fight? Or even be competitive? He's not even throwing punches no more. No. He's, like you said, he's just watching. <laughs> he's he's a, watching. He's a spectator. Isn't that amazing to be a spectator in your own fight? Get right. Oh, are they? Oh, I thought they just said they're going to stop, but no. It's, I guess this is going to end up going to the fifth round. Crazy enough. Amazing. Wow. All right, so I have that. You actually, 40. you actually can score these rounds almost 10-8. Mm -hmm. um, that he's that dominant, you know. Um, 36 to 40, unofficially, of course, but I'm seeing a total blowout right now, and uh, Carlos Hernandez is not even competitive right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're just looking at him, and yeah, he's saying you should be getting. On in, use your hook. I mean, your uppercut. Well, they're looking at but him closely now, and uh, the, the corner's looking at him. And uh, oh, there he's going in for another round. 
Fifth round. Yeah, Sergei just attacks. He goes straight for the face, head. Head, head, body. He has great practice. <laughs> great practice. Sorry about that. <laughs> great practice for Sergei. Hey, so he can throw his shots, work on finishing his opponent, um, getting him out there. Um, oh. This is good practice for him. Like I said, that overhand right is catching Carlos Hernandez straight on the chin. Mm -hmm. And um, he's setting it up right now. It seems like that last one that Carlos got hit with bothered him. And here goes Sergei on an attack. Oh, see another another overhand right. right here goes attack. Overhand right and, and left hook. Left overhand right and left hook's gonna work. Here it goes right here. Here it goes right here. I think right now, if I was me, I would throw the towel in. Um, to have my man submit to any more punishment. Here it is. When he when he okay. um, covers, he just kind of goes forward and puts his head down. Look, eyes, oh, well, there he goes. There you go. I think this was two rounds overdue. Yes, in I my think so too. Opinion. I think so too. Yeah. In the hope that he's okay. Yeah. And the punishment that he received was wasn't that good, but um, I believe they should have stopped in the last round, his own corner. Yeah. Um, the the punishment that he was taking there was unnecessary punishment. Yes. Uh, he was outclassed, overpowered. Uh, and um, like I said, you fight a man 11 0, 11 knockouts. He has a history of destroying opponents. You definitely stop it as fast as possible. Yeah. Well, like, like you just said, hopefully he's all right. Two rounds overdue, but that's what it is. Like <laughs> it is. So he has a nice little. Big win. Shoot. As they say. Another one bites the dust there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, that's the sound, right? Another one. Another one. Ooh, yeah. Sorry, Puerto Rico. Didn't do it for you. Yeah. My fellow Boricuas, you know. I know. I know. Ooh, but you know what? You know, holidays coming up, so you know what drink is really good that's Puerto Rican? What? Coquito. You ever had it? What is that? It's Coco Lopez and 151 uh, Puerto Rican rum. What's Coco Lopez? Uh, it's a coconut drink that they put into a blender. Uh -huh. And you put that into a blender with uh, 151 Puerto Rican rum. And it's the only alcohol that I actually could drink because I don't, I don't taste it. Wait, 151? Is that the one you light on fire? You could light it on fire if you want to. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, but... I yeah, I think I remember drinking 151 and they would do a... They light it on fire and you Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, a shot. This Puerto Rican, it's called Coquito. It's it it very almost good. sounds healthy because it's oh, coconut water. That's delicious. Coconut, you rehydrate to dehydrate. Yeah. <laughs> right. I know Abel's. I know he was tuned into this. He won. Sergei's just excited. Easy fight for him. Like he would say, easy. Easy fight. Easy fight. Got a chance to practice.